For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. So, we moving? Yeah. We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into the goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Come on, girl. Whoa! So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. Hey, wait for me. Now stay with me, please. So where was I? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ugh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now. Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up crew. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it does. Horse already okay. Make sure to be the uh, best in the rain, I pull horse. Well, let's take a look around. Good girl, good girl. Go easy, girl. It's like this is hey, the spot. I see something over there. You see it? Ooh. Someone on the ground there. <laughs> He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate si I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. 
and come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Oh, German. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then. Yeah. Fast. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Continues along the shore here. Now, I was saying, the bastards told me they killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Easy. Whoa, whoa! John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Careful. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. When Jack was real young, a long while, a year or more. You did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Oh! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Hey, Charles! Three coming right at us! You get the hell away from here! This ain't even our goddamn fight! Hell no! That all of them? Doesn't look like it! 
hit. That's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los! Bitte, lassen Sie mich gehen. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Anyway, you were saying? All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Yeah. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come off them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely <laughs> speak English. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bravo. alles klar. Bravo. Uh, Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! That was a lovely family. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh, <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter 3 I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... 
I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Give me that bag. We got work to do. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Thanks. Get some more. Pretty damn right. well. For a private man. God, you must be gone. Excuse oh, me. Was I in your way? Oh, sorry. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Hey, mister. Is that how people present themselves? In Good day, dear. <laughs> Is that what they're wearing in Paris these days? Morning, partner. Morning. I'm trying. Try harder. How's your look? 
I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Yeah! New pair of pants. Think you're landing rich? Oh, shut up! I'm gonna rob you! See some action, lady. Now you got your whip. You ain't messing with me. You okay there, Sadie? Of course. You think I can't handle these fools? Oh, you're standing there. Hey, see? Not many still standing now. Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward. I think we're good here, Arthur. Nice shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway... Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind follows. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. That shopping? Yes, that shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And...
Oh, shut up. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Hi, John. Hey. Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Well, come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Shut up, Dutch. My horse is here. I hope you know where you're going. And you give me Alright, don't get all worked up. Why I can't mount on fucking horse? My horse is not obeying me. Come here, girl. couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Well, 
Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, look who it is. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Oh. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Keep us close to the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Bastards! They don't do nothing! Ah. Damn you! Let go! Come on! You stop them, I'll stop the train. Running ain't gonna help! Is everything all right in there? 
Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. Look what at the now? physics. Like, Take him in. his Come hair on. should hang right now. A fine job. Fix well it, done. Rockstar. And a pat this on the looks lame. For stopping the train. Really Load lame. Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. Look at this here. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? The Grays have to substantially reduce their time at lunch. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. 
There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. <laughs> <laughs>